It happened to the Monday morn while seated at me loomsers. Picking thens from out at yarn, our nan pops into roomsers. Who shouted out, I tell thee, Dick, I think thou'rt acting shabby. So off to London, cut thee stick and look at Royal Babby. I'm James Arnold, I'm history curator at the Harris, and this project has been about digitising and sharing more widely the Harkness collection of Victorian broadside ballads. These were given to the Harris in the 1950s by a book collector called John Henry Spencer and they've been used over the years by researchers but they're um, Victorian street songs, poems, ballads, folk tales, accounts of uh, you know grisly trials or Preston events like Preston Guild. So in this box we have a new and original song on the celebration of the Preston Guild September 1882 Really nice example of a ballad because it's got a nice big woodcut at the top, which actually is something to do with what it's talking about, rare. And Preston Guild is absolutely massive, so you can't really miss it. Even if you couldn't read, I'm sure you would suddenly recognise the word Preston. Um, and this has the air of, oh Fred, tell them to stop. But I don't know that tune because I'm not Victorian. Uh, so I've just put a different one to it, but this one goes, um, in the good town of Preston we're all up in arms For this is the Guild Week, you know Tis a holiday I'm sure never loses its charms Every girl gets two strings to her bow No work can be done, it's all frolic and fun And everyone's happy and gay Good luck to each Lancashire daughter and son For he don't kill a pig every day Lads and lasses standing in rows, working away from morn till night. Tenters, Bob, Sal's, Betty's and Joe's, running about on their nimble feet. Keeping time to a steady tune, played by the engine from light till dark. Feeding with water and cold boat spoon, and he's all as a right for another day's work. So I'm Jennifer Palmer. I got, through, I got involved with this project through the university. I'm a second year history student. And the part of this project was we got a brief from James, the creator at Harris, and we kind of said, there was an exhibit we had to do and it just kind of snowballed from there, really. The Harness Collection is a tremendous resource for historians, especially people interested in Victorian Britain. Um, it's a collection of songs and ballads and poems all about everyday life, ranging from things such as sporting events to love songs to ideas of the empire, of race and all sorts of things that affected people's lives. The most exciting thing about the Hartness Collection is that it covers the mid to late Victorian period in the middle of Preston. So you have the Preston lockout, you have the industrial disputes, you have the strikes and rises, um, and it's all covered in the material printed by Hartness one way or another. If it doesn't cover exactly the labour disputes, it covers what people were going through, or the kind of sentiment of the time, or just what people did for fun, or the kind of music people enjoyed while all this was going on. Uh, in partnership with the Harris we've recruited a, a team of uh, wonderful volunteers who've been working on the collection uh, and our aim in doing that is to make the collection more accessible. So my role was simply to get it in a digital form that we use later on to produce a searchable catalogue and resource. The Hartness Ballads are a wonderful collection and they're a reminder of the fact that historic documents were never created as historic documents, they were created for another purpose. They're not just 2D things that live on the page, they're things that come alive within crowds, uh, they, were, they were performed or talked about and not everybody could read, uh, so they're things that need to be uh, given back to the people of Preston through performance and that's where uh, others like uh, Jennifer Reed come in uh, and, and other local performers. He's geeking our household in the world, he's such an owl in swell. I wish he'd geet another girl a go and lose his cell. Our parrot's gone and cocked its toes and a rooster win a flap. And we're going daft and all a cause, our sir is geeking a chap. Thanks. It was really interesting to work with a group of young people to see some of the topics that they found interesting and how they were relevant to the modern day. Songs about love, about politics, about local pride and various other aspects of life in industrial Lancashire still have relevance today and still found a voice and, and, and an interest for young people today. I quite like the ones about the witches and the ones about the royal family were my favourite to kind of go through and look at them. Um, there's one that I found 
essay found, it's fully catalogued in the archive, uh, called Sam Shuttle and Betty Reed Hook, which was made popular during the 1960s Fog Revival. And uh, it's just great, it goes, I'm going for to give you a very strange narration But what I tell is really true of my own observation Alas, there was a nice as one as any on you'd need Look, she was a steam loom weaver and they called her Betty Reedook So what's nice about this ballad is Sam Shuttle and Betty Reedhook Okay, so they're trying to get on with each other Really cool that you know they're profession already because they're named after the work dialect that I assume the process that they work at and it kind of it goes through about this cut looker this overseer that's trying to get in the middle of their relationship he fancies Betty Reed Hook as well so they go for a regular up and down which is a clog fight on the top of the hill what could be more Preston than that? But actually interactive material I found it really it's interesting almost exciting you know these, these bits of paper the, they're, they're the real thing, you know, they're from, what, 100 years ago, maybe 150 years ago? No dates on them. So actually being able to read the stuff, touch the stuff, be with the stuff, I enjoy that. But when that I come back this way, I will square up your jerry hand loom. Thanks. <laughs> So why do I like ballads so much? Well, I can sing a really sweet sounding air that then ends with, we don't kill a pig every day, which I think brings it right back down into a Lancashire sentiment, especially 19th century. You had a lot of really funny dialect and ballad poetry coming out during this time. Sam Fitton of Oldham, Ben Briley of Failsworth, um, and Harkness, the printer, a ballad printer, um, really elevated this type of humour and performance. Um, a ballad singer singing this song on the side of the street, you would instantly be engaged with it, because how could you not? That information, the digital images, and the list of ballads will be available online so anybody from home can explore and enjoy uh, and find out a lot about what Preston in the mid 19th century was like and what concerned people back then. The collaboration was really good, it was very straightforward, it was, but it was very nerve wracking um, because obviously it wasn't just an assignment where you wrote, wrote two and a half thousand words and just submit it and gone done. With this you actually had to show your face and actually say this is what I've done, this is mine and actually be, actually be proud of what you've done. Ballads for me encapsulate a moment of street culture, of street song that we don't really see these days. I call it the x factorization of music because the, the Victorian culture was a singing culture. People learnt through song, people had nursery rhymes, people sung most things as like a kind of memory aid almost. And also in, in performance. And then with uh, performers such as Jenny Lind, and then going into the music hall era, and then you have the abstract glorification of people. So George Formby, Gracie Fields, people are getting further and further in the spotlight and celebrity is kind of created. And for me, that puts a big gap in between the normal person who can sing ballads and have fun and the ballad singer on the street who may look as ragged as you to you know a polished star which I don't really think is um, a good advocate because everyone should be able to perform and sing at will it's not just for you in the shower at five in the morning before work I think everyone should be able to participate in this stuff so if it takes me singing them at the market for you to get interested then I'm kind of into that and I'll see you there. Way down in Albert Square I never shall forget Her eyes they shone like diamond sand The evening it was wet 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 And her hung down in curls She was a charming rover And we roved all Mona. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Oh.